If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> I also want to know. Um, you know, um, your opinions on the boxing landscape, we kind of touched on it with Ryan Garcia and, and, and his BS, you know, uh, but I want to talk a more positive note, you know, I know you're from the New Jersey area and we have a few fights coming up, particularly with a, a rising star. I mean, he's a star, you know, he just, I just don't feel like that he's been promoted well, in my humble opinion. So he hasn't really reached the stardom that he's capable of achieving. Uh, but we have Shakur fighting against, um, Artem Hunter uh, uh, he has one loss, and that's against Frank the Ghost Martin, who we saw tank beat. Um, you know, he's a free agent after this fight. What do you think that he has to do to impress, you know, and, and, and stand out? Not just to win, but also impress. We know he's not a knockout artist, but in my opinion, you don't have to knock out somebody to impress. So what do you think he has to do, or what can he do to um, um, raise his stake a little bit in the boxing world? Well, you're right. I mean, Oscar Valdez, he didn't knock out Valdez, nope. but he impressed in Absolutely. that fight. He did stop Herring, but it was a it was like a methodical beatdown yep. in yep. that fight. Yep. Um, he stopped Yoshino look, too, but that was a that was a TKO. The referee stopped it. Right. Right. Um, well, funny thing about Shakur, since you brought him up mm. yesterday, because mm. I checked social media, I was on Shakur's uh, Instagram. Yep, I saw it. And it. No, well, I saw and, it through you. Through it, you, I didn't see it through you. Yeah, I saw it through your post. Right. Um, they showed a clip from uh from. A pro box where yep. we were talking about that fight and i yep. said that it was a boring fight now it, it left everything else out where i thought he dominated the fight but you it, know that the point blank it was a, <laughs> he knows it was a bad performance he right. said after the fight he didn't feel good to his credit there were rumors that he had a bad hand yeah he, he never hand, really yep. talked about it yeah. like in detail right um he of course the pre you know i think he always feels the pressure to to look good but especially now when when everything's going on around him i mean Absolutely. tank just looks sensational knocking out martin so yep. he knows he's got to look good he's supposed to win this fight he's fighting a, an olympian yep. a good fighter yep. shakur is supposed to win this fight at home yep. and 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 i think shakur is going to shine i think it's going to be methodical i think he's going to beat this guy down i think he has to it's has like to. your contract year basket any sport your yep. contract year yep. you yep. want to go out and and show people why they want you exactly Exactly. And De La Santos, the De La Santos fight, did not show that. Now, no. I thought he won that fight hands down. Yeah, me too. I would like to see other people fight De La Santos. Yeah. And De La Santos hasn't fought since then either. But um, there's a lot of that, talent yeah. at 135. Yeah. There's a lot of talent. So I'm always, you know, I'm, I always back the Jersey fighters. And I am biased. Like, I, I picture core almost over almost anybody. <laughs> but I think that. he knows he has to look good. He also knows he's not a knockout puncher. Right. He's not going to fight like Arturo Gatti. He's right. going to fight like Shakur Stevenson. And I think he's going to put on a show because there's a lot of talent at 135. So I'm looking for Shakur to shine. But it was pretty it was pretty weird Like when I saw I was on his Instagram because I'm going through you know, on the thumbnails. And I said, hold on, is that me? Is that me? <laughs> but the panel, it was like me and Tim yeah. and Sean and Paulie. I was like, that's pretty dope that, yeah, that, that, is. that is. I'm with them. But uh, yeah, I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna look sensational, and he's a free agent, so it's important to him. Very he important. can't win a, he can't win a fight like Teofimo Lopez did. Exactly. No, no disrespect to him because no he's the fighter. But it was like a sparring session with Claggett. And and if I may interject as well, it's not only like you like you just said he has to look good. That's what people are forgetting. No disrespect to Steve Claggett. You know, me and you, we both respect fighters. We should all respect fighters. He's a good fighter. Don't get me wrong. But Teofimo, he just came off of his disappointing law, uh, disappointing win to Jermaine Ortiz. Didn't look good. So this, yep. he was he fought a guy that was barely ranked top 10. So this fight, the purpose of this was for Teofimo to showcase and sort of get a rebound fight to remind us why we believe he's a takeover. You know, and he didn't yep. do that. You know, so yes, he won. It was a good fight. If you're just looking at it objectively and not considering... Uh, uh, the stuff that's around it, you know, the circumstances around it. But if you consider everything, if, if Shakur beats Artem like Teofimo beats Steve, that's a failure, you know? So he, it's because he is a free agent and we want to see him bounce back for De La Santos. Now, the part I will add with De La Santos is that, you know, I think that he's not getting enough of the blame uh, for his share of making it a bad fight because, you know, right. and I know you know this, on the buildup, he pulled up to Shakur Stevenson's hood like you like he wanted to do something but then when you have the opportunity to do something you're supposed to as a puncher you're supposed to press the issue now Shakur could also engage but like you said it's not his style 
that's not his style. So I, I blame both of them, man. But I, I do think he has to prove the doubters wrong. And I think he's I'm, I'm with you. I think he's going to. I think he's going. To. I yeah. hope he's going to because I like I like Shakur as well. He's not my, one of my favorites, but I think the sport is better when we have more competition and parity amongst the different promoters or big promotion companies. So absolutely, yeah. So um, I do want to say this too. Uh, you said New Jersey. I wanted to ask you what's your opinion on the other fights? Uh, Osha Key Foster versus a former uh, adversary to Shakur and Robson Casesa, right? Um, well, oh, uh, Shock is like the cardiac kid of boxing. <laughs> yeah. Like it comes down to the twelfth round now. <laughs> you know what's weird about him? I, I feel like he has more skill than he's showing in the fights. I mean, it, it's coming down to the wire. I agree. Um, but look, he's exciting. Like, he's one of these guys. He's turning to must-see boxing because you know that he can you know he can stop you late. He can turn a fight around. Mm-hmm. Um, I like I like Shock a lot, man. I think he's a really good fighter and him being on that card is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that really beats up the card, you know, him and Keyshawn. And Keyshawn's fighting Madueno, I believe. So that you know, yeah, Madueno. Yeah, well who's tough? But Keyshawn yeah. Keyshawn should win. Right. He should win that fight. Right. Like I mean, we know that these guys are supposed to win these fights. There's right. certain fights in boxing, you know there's an A side and a B side. Right. You know, you know certain guys are supposed to win. He's supposed right. to win and he's supposed to look good. Right. Um one thirty five is strong strong man i'm i'm glad you brought that up because it's going to segue into the next question you know i know that you of course you like sugar ray leonard we talked about Hagler. you know in the four for the four kings era you know they all fought with Hagler, uh roberto uh elmano dora hands of stone roberto duran uh tommy hitman hearns and sugar ray leonard you know they all fought each other and i want to know your opinion i know you say you're your your guy man you know how do you think your boy fares against the the current fighters of this the, the current top fighters of this era so like i would say let's say tank loma T.O. and I'm missing somebody. Uh, and Haney. Let's see if they if Shakur fought them. How do you think he would he would fare? That's easy for me. And <laughs> and and, they, and you can call me a hater of all those fighters. Shakur <laughs> beats them all. Hey, New Jersey like reigns supreme. New Jersey reigns supreme, and Shakur beats them all. There you now go. you gonna I put your money on let, it. Let's have them fight. That you brought up the four kings. You got the talent. They're like the four princes or the five. There you princes. go. Yeah, They're I like that. That's too, yeah, you're right. They got to prove. They're it. not kings yet. They got to. They have to fight each other. And I and agree. it's funny that Ryan Garcia, who who gets bashed, is the only guy that fought Devin and he fought Tank. That's why you I know? liked him. Remember, I told you I liked the, the fighting spirit yeah. of him. I just didn't know yeah. it came laced with PEDs. Just <laughs> right, right. <laughs> So let the let them fight each other. Yeah. That's all we want. That's yeah. all we want. We just want to see like. I, I like Tank as a fighter, but if you really look at his record, you can kind of pick it apart. You know, there's a lot of Leo Santa Cruz's and guys like that, and even and even Pitbull Cruz was a replacement for Roley. That's true. Nobody knew Pitbull was as good as he was, and I That's think true. Tank Tank showed the ability to go, overcome adversity because he hurt his hand in that fight. He hurt his hand, yeah, and he early. boxed Pitbull. Yep. Um, in the pocket. So I just want to see him fight the fights. That's all. Like yeah. win, lose, or draw. If I'm wrong and Tank runs the table on everyone, then he earned it. Yeah. He earned it. Yeah. I don't think, I mean, like you said, you don't have to preface anything with being a hater because I, I'm the same way just with Tank. I think Javante beats all of them, you know, and, uh, you know, just give him a little push. Right. I, I, I like Neil Santa Cruz a lot. I like Aesop Pippo Cruz. You know, he's a champion at 140, like you mentioned. Mario Barrios, he's a champion at, even though he got elevated, he's a champion at two higher weight classes at 147. But I do want to say, would you put your money on Shakur? Uh, come on, I'll, tell you, down. I'll, say, I'll say this. I'll uh-huh. say this. I am a, I have a horrible betting record because <laughs> I usually you're supposed to be smart when you make bets. That's why it's rare when I make a bet. That's I why I ask my you. Heart. I go with my heart, and that often loses you money. <laughs> and I've said this story before. You might have heard me say it, but when I was at HBO, Oscar. Oscar De La Hoya was fighting a little fighter named Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao and I yeah. said, man, I'm arguing with people. Like, you're a fool. Manny Pacquiao is small. Oscar De La Hoya is going to smoke him at 147. Yeah. He's going to smoke him. I wasn't working the fight, but a buddy of mine who was in Vegas working for HBO, I said, hey, put 100 bucks on Oscar for me, man, because that's yeah. easy money. And yeah. then I heard he weighed in at, you know, he was like three pounds under. Oscar yeah. had a lot going on yeah. in his camp in that fight. Yeah. But... 
I, I don't. I'm. I am not. I don't give betting advice. <laughs> I just say who I think is going to win. You know, when it comes down Yo. to putting money. I don't. I don't put money down Come on, on fights. You can't cop out, man. I've been. I've been. I've been selling you as an expert, man. You know, but I, I'm glad I'm that you slammed up expert, that. <laughs> but I. But I say why, like, like Shakur, I am biased because right, I. Right. Because simply now, look, if, if Sugar Ray Leonard was in his prime, and Shakur moved up to 147, Shakur's yeah. not beating Sugar Ray Leonard. I can oh, say that. Me. But um, yeah, I don't, man. Betting advice. Other people give betting advice. Right. They let let them do it. I'll just <laughs> argue passionately like a boxing fan because exactly. my best You're friend growing up, he was a I was a Sugar Ray fan. He was a a, a Tommy Hearns fan. So ah. we just went at it all the time, <laughs> all the time. Yeah. So no money. Uh, well, I mean, we might have bet like a dollar here, a dollar right, there, right, right. Not, 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 nothing, nothing life changing. No, yeah, yeah. no. So I'm not telling people what to bet on. You know, bet with your your mind, I guess. Yeah. I'm just, I, I lose money. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.